The topic we are discussing now is how to make your own high quality poultry feed at home using available local feed stuff without compromising quality. On this topic, I will be teaching feed ingredients, feed evaluation, factors affecting feed intake, the digestive system of poultry beds, factors affecting voluntary feed intake in poultry and livestock in general, factors affecting the nutrient requirement of poultry bed at a particular season, the types of feed, the texture of feed, feed formulation, feed ingredients, and nutrient requirement of each poultry bed. We shall also discuss the equipment needed to produce your own feed at home and the feed intake of every stage of poultry bed from starter, grower, finisher, layers, and breeders feed. All this will be discussed on this particular topic. Keep your subscription intact in this channel. Thank you. Let's go on. The dependence of man on poultry protein or protein from livestock and desire of the livestock farmer to see his animals express their full genetic potential necessitates a proper management of such animals. Livestock management entails the provision of an enabling environment or condition such as adequate housing, care, feeding, hygienic or hygiene etc in all phases of growth or production so that the animal can perform very well this will require an understanding of the management practices of different livestock species in this content i will be teaching specifically the feeding and nutrition requirement of poultry pets that will enable you make your own feed at home and produce a very high standard poultry bed or egg weight, egg size, and a standing one that will give you a very good profit in the market. The term poultry used in agriculture generally refers to all domesticated birds kept for egg or meat production. This includes chicken, turkey, duck, geese, guinea fowl, ostrich, etc. Sometimes the term poultry is considered synonymous with chicken. We are aware that poultry meat and eggs are excellent form of human food. Raising of birds serves as a hobby for some people. The feathers are used for making pillows and mattresses. Eggs are used for producing various vaccines. Poultry manures is a source of plant food in, so in soil. Employment is also provided by poultry industry through rearing, processing, transporting, marketing, etc. of bears and bears products. Poultry enterprises are means of income to poultry farmers. Bears are high economy converters of feed. A day old broiler chief can attain a market weight of 2.5 to 3 kg at eight weeks layers may be produced within 20 weeks of age a poultry enterprise requires a low capital investment to establish bears are used for scientific experiments because they mature within a relative short period of time we have different 
classes of chicken. We have the chicks. These are the young bears, ideally at day old, which are or which will eventually grow into adult bears that will be used for meat or egg production. We have the broilers that are fast growing chicken normally reared for their meat. They can attend the table size at six weeks. We have the cockerel, which are male bears that grow slowly and attain a table size or a table weight of 2 kg to 2.5 kg in 16 to 20 weeks of age. They have two phases of growth, mainly starter, grower, or finisher stage. Then we have the noiler, which is the newly breeded type of bird in Nigeria from Amor Hatchery. This noiler is a combination of broiler and local birds. They grow faster than the local chicken and slower than the broiler. They are for meat and eggs. This noiler can attain a market size within 16 weeks of age if properly well fed and properly managed. In this content, you see a video or the picture of the broiler attaining 6 kg in 20 weeks with a very good standard feed and management system. Like man, farm animals require a regular supply of food to ensure a healthy and productive life. Food is a necessity of life and the most important factor in relation to the building of and maintenance of the body. To understand how food is transformed in the body of the animals to meet the animal requirement for energy growth, repair of one of tissues, reproduction and regulation of body function, it is necessary to study the nature and properties of the nutrient which constitutes food. The word feed is synonymous with food. Why food is used in reference to human? Feed is used for animals. In other words, feed is the food for animals. The food given to farm animals is referred to as livestock feed. The food or feed is any material that after being ingested or consumed by an animal is capable of being digested, absorbed and utilized by the body, either for maintenance growth, production, or reproduction. The components of feed or food that can be utilized by animals are referred to as nutrients. Nutrients is an or any feed constituent or group of feed constituents of the same chemical component or composition that nourishes and supports the preservation of life. Examples of nutrients are water, protein, carbohydrates, fats or oil, minerals and vitamins. Therefore, nutrition is the science of feeding animals with an appropriate diet for growth, development and reproduction. Nutrition deals with the science of nature of feed and feed nutrients. You must feed the animals to provide necessary elements for repairing the wear and tear of the body, to provide raw materials for synthesis of body tissues in growth, to serve as source of energy for vital processes in the body growth, work and production, for generating heat necessary for maintaining body temperature, to serve as raw materials for the production of milk, meat, egg or wool in the case or as the case may be in some animals. For poultry birds, they need concentrate feed to grow very well and achieve the market target. Generally, concentrate feed is low in crude fiber, not bulky, easily digested by poultry, and supplies energy, protein, and vitamins in large quantities and a high or high in digestible nutrients. Concentrate feed can be energy or protein constraint. The 
energy concentrate has less than 18% crude fiber and is mainly feedstuff that is very high in energy or starch. It is highly digestible, low in protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They constitute the bulk of the energy source for monogastric and other animals. Examples are cereal, grains like maize, guinea corn, wheat, so on and the rest. Protein concentrate. The protein concentrate has less than 18% crude fiber. It is high in protein, low in carbohydrate and fat, low in minerals and is highly digestible. Protein concentrate can either be of plant or animal origin. For example of plant protein concentrate are uh, granite cake, pumpkin cake, soya bean cake or soya bean meal. Animal protein concentrate include fish meal, blood meal and protein byproducts. The minerals are high in vitamin and minerals. They are required in small quantities in feed to supplement basal and protein concentrates. They are low in energy, protein and fiber. They largely aid food digestion and resistance to diseases. They are also necessary for growth and development. They include vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin K. The supplements are like the bone meal, the oyster shell, the limestone, and others. We have the feed addictives. These are non-nutritive minerals or materials, which, when added to the food, improve the performance of animal, but whose absence from the feed does not constitute a nutrient deficiency. For example, the enzymes. The lysine, the methionine, all these are feed addictives. The components of feed that are absorbed and utilized in the bodies of animals or livestock after digestion are known as nutrients. The types of feed nutrients are water, carbohydrate, protein, fat and oil, minerals and vitamins. The water supplies The components of feed that are absorbed and utilized in the bodies of animals after digestion are known as nutrients. The types of feed nutrients are water, carbohydrate, protein, fat and oil, minerals and vitamins. Water is the simplest feed nutrient. It plays an important role in almost all life processes. Chemically, it is made up of the hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1. It is an essential component of the body of animals. The body of most animals contains 55 to 65% water and no animal can survive without second water. Water makes up of large part of the protoplasm and it is also a constituent of the blood and the limbs. Poultry diets must be formulated to provide all of the best nutrient requirements if optimum growth and production is to be achieved. There are six classes of nutrients, carbohydrates, the major source of energy for poultry. Most of the carbohydrates in poultry diet is provided by the cereal grains. Fat. These fats are provided or they provide energy and essential fatty acids that are required for some bodily processes. Protein requires for the synthesis of the body tissues, particularly the muscle. Physiological molecules such as enzymes and hormones, feathers and for egg production. Proteins also provide a small amount of energy for the poultry birds. The vitamins. Organic chemicals or chemicals containing carbon which help control body processes and are required in small amounts for normal health and growth of the poultry birds and other animals. 
minerals, inorganic chemicals, chemicals not containing carbon, which help control body processes and are required for normal health and growth of the farm animal or poultry birds. Factors affecting the nutrient requirement of poultry include the genetics, the age of the bird, the size of the bird, reproductive state of the bird, the ambient temperature, housing system, the head status, production aims. All these contribute and affect the nutrient requirements of the poultry birds. Let's start with the genetics. The species, breed or strength of the birds. Different species, breed or strength of birds have different average body sizes. Growth rate and production levels will absorb and utilize nutrients from feed with different levels of efficiency. Therefore, they will require feed with different nutrient composition. So when you are composing feed, you must bear this in mind that the species or the strength of the particular bed you are formulating feed for needs a different approach, different feed formula to enable them to grow well. The age of the bed is also very important to be noted. The nutrient requirements are related to the body or both the body weight and the stage of their maturity. If they are older, they need higher concentrates for them to achieve their body mass. The cysts. Prior to sexual maturity, the cysts have only small differences in their nutrient requirements, and males and females can usually be fed the same compromised diet to achieve acceptable growth rate. Differences in nutrient requirements are larger following the onset of sexual maturity and significantly different diet formulation are then required for each size of poultry bed. The reproductive state, the level of egg production in hens and sexual activity in males will affect nutrient requirements. When the eggs, when the bears are about to lay eggs, they require enough nutrient, they require enough feed for them to give you a very good quality egg. The ambient temperature. Poultry have increased energy requirement to maintain normal body temperature in cold ambient temperatures and the opposite in hot ambient temperatures. Food digestion processes produce body heat, the amount of which will vary according to the nutrient composition of the diet. This is called the heat increment of the diet. In cold temperatures, it may be desirable to formulate a diet with a higher heat increment and the opposite in the hot temperature. That's why most farmers complain that my bears are not eating very well during the cold season. Yes, it is normal. But you need to change the feed formula to, for them to start eating very well. If not, they will not give you what you need. The housing system. The type of housing system will influence the level of the activities of the bears and therefore energy requirements. The health. If the bears are sick, they hardly consume enough feed and that will make them drop either the weight or egg. Bears experiencing a disease challenge may benefit from an increase in the intake of some nutrients, most commonly the vitamins for them to recover quickly. Production aims. The optimal nutrient composition of the diet will vary according to the production aim, such as optimizing weight gains or carcass composition, egg numbers or egg size. Poultry that are raised for breeding purposes may need to have their energy intake restricted to ensure that they do not become obese because the obesity will cause or will reduce their egg production. The next point is the flock density. When you overflock your pen, when your pen is overpopulated with birds, they hardly consume a lot of feed and they hardly convert the feed. So, therefore, you must restrict your poultry stocking to the density, to the minimal density required for that particular size of the pen 
for you to achieve a very good result. In addition, certain feed ingredients, poor feed quality or feed contamination can have adverse effects on voluntary feed intake due to poor palatability or presence of toxic factors. Suppliers of commercial poultry provide information on the optimal nutrient and feed intakes for their best throughout the production cycle. Feed intake and production performance of flock should be monitored and adjustment made to the diet composition where required to keep performance on their track. Feed formulation Making your own chicken feed at home can help in cutting costs. Cost of purchasing the chicken feed is very high, but when you make your own feed at home, it reduces your expenses and maximizes your profit. Therefore, formulating your own chicken feed is advantageous because you will be able to control the quality, saving on the cost and feeding your chicken with high quality chicken feed will ensure that you maximize your profit. It's advisable to use locally available ingredients for your chicken feed. In addition to using ingredients that are in season, this will help you further cut the cost of production. Farmers can grow or produce their own ingredients. Care must be taken while producing, handling and storing the ingredients so as to avoid contamination. This will lead to a lower nutritive value of the feed and sometimes diseases. When making chicken feed, the digestible crude protein formula is used. Without going into the mathematical calculation, the digestible crude protein formula is based on the total percentage amount of protein in the chicken feed ingredients. Each chicken feed ingredient has different amount of digestible crude protein. Layers and broilers requires a different amount of protein at different stages of growth. Now, let us look at the specific example of each of the requirements or nutrient requirements at every stage of their lives. Broilers 0 to 4 weeks old requires 2,800 kilocalories a kg of feed requires 23% crude protein, one, at least 1% cashew, 0.70% potassium, 1.25 lysine, 0.86 methionine, and 0.86 cysteine. 5 to 8 weeks requires 3,000 kilocalories per kilogram. 20 to 21 percent crude protein, 1 percent, at least 1 percent cashew, 0.7 percent phosphorus, 1.10 lysine, 0.75 methionine, and 0.75 cysteine. Bullet 0 to 8 weeks of age requires 2,600 kilocalories per kilogram. 18% crude protein, 1% at least 1% cashew, 0.7% phosphorus, 1.10 lysine, 0.70 methionine, and 0.70 cysteine. Breeders, 9 to 20 weeks requires 2,500 kilocalories per kilogram of feed, 17% crude protein, 2.50 cashew, 0.60 phosphorus, 0.80 lysine, 0.53 methionine, and 0.53 cysteine. Turkey, 0 to 8 weeks, requires 2,750 kilocalories per kilogram, 28% crude protein, very important for young 
Turkey, 1.2% Kaju, 0.80% Phosphorus, 1.50 Lysine, at least 0.87 Methionine and 0.8716. Turkey breeders 9 to 20 weeks of age requires about 2,829 kilocalories per kilogram feed, 15% crude protein, 2.50 calcium, 0.75 phosphorus, 0.68 lysine, 0.58 methionine, and 0.59 cysteine. Guinea fowl, 0 to 8 weeks requires 3,000 kilocalories of feed in the name of energy, 15%, at least 15% protein, 